We're back. That's right. The wonderful world of Sable. Okay. We've got uh, a myriad of different things that uh, we need to do. I like that that opens to let you know that you've already, you know, done stuff with it. Uh, okay. We've been in here already. That's the larval. Can I sell my, uh, uh, this camp? Tell me about this camp. This is one of many beetle tent stations around Midden, named after that big old burnt tree over there. I'm not sure which species an oak is, mind. There's plenty of characters passing through here. They're all worth a bother if you're on your gliding. Never know what badges and masks you might pick up. Don't be shy. Chat to the tent owners. Interrogate the mechanists and any other people you see around. There's also the scrapper's yard just below the big crane over there. There's a lazy scrapper down there who will make finding scraps worth your time. See you soon. The crane. Big crane. Oh, look. Yeah, big tree. Big burnt tree. Crane. That guy. Hold on. Any mail? Hello, Sable. Was that him making that noise? What was... Did, okay. Did anyone else hear that? Hello? Chat? Did anyone else hear that strange... Okay. I guess I'm just crazy. Okay, hold on. Wait. Alright. I want to trade with you. Uh... Sell. Take... Oh my god. You can't sell back the goddamn... Alright, fine. I want to... Let's go to the crane then. I can't sell the scrap either, apparently. Because I didn't... I didn't see it. I saw the fish that I had and that was about it. Uh, hold on. I can pick up a bucket. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. Don't throw the bucket. We're just going to put it down there. I don't know where we would. Hello. What's going on down here? Uh, hold on. Let's let's explore. Is there a reason why the cameras It sort of like turns to the right and then stops. It's got its own uh soundtrack, I guess. I don't know. I read one of the reviews, and one of the reviews did say that the soundtrack kind of doesn't fit with, like, the game. And I understand that, but, like, it's not really noticeable, you know? If you want to be nitpicky, then yeah, but, you know. Okay, you have to go up to him. It is a challenge not to view scrappers through quite a romantic lens as I look towards my gliding as a child. I picture myself as a dust-covered traveler, exploring strange, for strange forbidden places and finding strange forgotten things. A treasure hunter of old and arcane objects. And though I'm certain the grind of sifting through sand and dirt for useful tools and things left over can wear anyone down, I cannot help but weave some thread of my fantasy into the reality of the work. Greenest Glider. Name's Alton. I give a bow and introduce myself as Sable. You find much scrap, you find much scrap metal out there, Sable? All the time. It's been known to happen. Good, good. Alton leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. Got a task for you then if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of a gentle intimidation, but I stand up straight and casual enough to seem like I'm up for anything. Alton seems to believe it enough. I need scraps, I will, and lots of it. And you out there are already doing basically nothing. Alton chuckling to himself. Shouldn't say it like that. Gliding's hard, eh? You have nothing to do, so you have everything to do. Wonder if anyone's ever spent their gliding just lying around. Might be easier. I joked that it might be an easier life to find a big warm rock and stare up into infinity, resting my way through a glide. He snorts amused, but I can tell the idea of an extended nap is one he finds inviting. Perhaps I do too. Anyhow, the task. Let's see if you can understand this one, yeah? It's a bit complex. I tell him I'm ready. Go out, find scrap, bring it to me. Uh, how much do you need? I ask Galton how much you might need. How much can you carry? I show him my arms and pockets for scope. Yeah, I need that much, as many times as you can do it. I tell him I'm happy for any reason to explore, and that I'll return with everything I find. I say goodbye to Alton. Okay. I'm um, barely looks at me. Hope this scrap's better than what you brought me last time, which was good too, but you know, always strive for better. I didn't bring you scrap metal. Okay. I fetch everything I found for him, handing it over piece by piece. I say goodbye. Okay. So, he's just a guy you can give the scrap to. Okay. Alright, that's fine. So, you find the scrap, you throw it at him, you know. He compensates you for your hard work. So, that's good to know. So, you're not, you're not just like running around. Okay, because that's kind of what I was looking for. When I was seeing if I could sell my uh, glider pieces, I was seeing if I could sell the scrap to him, and I cannot. So, this is where the scrap goes. That makes a lot of sense. So, that's not that big of a deal. I thought it was going to be one of those uh, quests where it's like, oh, every feather you find, give it back to me. Like the, the Proctor guy from um, Fallout, where he's like, oh, every time you find a document, just bring it back to me. It's like, ugh. You know? Like, I don't, I don't feel like looking for a uh, document. But the scrap I do actually need. The scrap you can actually, like, it's it's not hard to find, and, you know, you can uh, toss it back to him, and he'll actually compensate you for it. Because I went from 30 to 90, so, you know, he gives you a decent amount for it, which I really like. 
Uh, okay. So, what the heck? Oh, God. Okay. Should look for more sands terminals. I, I, I collect more masks. Gather larval husks, fish. Go and find Elizabeth at the Bridge of the Betrayed. So let's get the larval husks. Let's do that first, because that actually has, like, a quest marker to go to. Where's my... Where's my gilder? The blade that pierced his body came from his gilder. Nobody's gonna know that, but that was from the special Spider-Man 3 DVD uh, with the outtakes. And uh, that was... Uh, what's his name? James Franco's butler. You know? And uh, he... Uh, he said the wrong thing, probably because that guy is literally 97 years old in that movie. And uh, I am more than certain that he is no longer with us. And if he is, man, the power of modern technology, you know. Uh, so, oh, I have 14 sons, apparently. I don't know what that means, but I have 14 of them. So, uh, I guess, you know, we'll find out what to do with those at some point down the line. I don't particularly know. Uh, is that... The whatchamacallit, that doesn't look like it, but it also kind of looks like it at the same time. So, I don't know. Uh, okay. We're gonna head over here. Now, yesterday, she talked about how there was a mama, a mama larva. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, it is. There's a mama larva. And we're gonna have to deal with them, I guess. And considering the fact that we cannot throw any punches... Or anything, I don't necessarily know how and what we're going to do to combat that. But, you know, I guess we'll cross that bridge. Well, sorry, we'll uh, traverse that sand dune when we get to it, I guess. Hey, yo. Okay. All right. I thought you could, like, do tricks. Oh, ease to get off. I don't know why I pressed that button. Okay. I don't know why. I just... It... That... I went up, like, a hill. And it, it... Like that. Look, it gave me, like... Look. And then you could get, like, big air. You know? So... It made me think that, like... You know, you could have a little bit of fun. There's a cactus. Hold on a second. The cactus makes me feel like... I can fish... For... Certain... No, bring it back in. Fish for certain things. Next to the cactus. Well, that's not what I wanted. I love the, the the voices. The little, like, you know, mannerisms that she has. You're not waiting too long. Oh, it's a friggin' Bello, Bello Guppy. Again. I wish it wasn't a Bello Guppy. I, I do wish that I knew where to find the other ones, but... Alas, I have literally no idea where to look. I don't know how, like... Hello. Looks like it's near there. Something's near here. So, we're gonna find out what that is. Alright, right now. Hello. It's like a whole... Hey! Bow. I love the little, like, wiggle. Hercules Beetle Nest. Okay. I don't know what to expect here. I'm a bit apprehensive. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if I'm immediately going to be attacked or or what. I don't I don't know. Uh We're going to park up here. Uh I don't know. Can I search on this? No. I can climb on it though. I love her eagerness to climb on stuff. I appreciate it. Okay. Wall, can't get through there. So uh, looking around. Hey, what's up, man? Are you going to attack me? Am I going to get hurt? Nesting giant. Okay. You're just a big beetle that is not going to move. Uh, okay. You know what? That's fair. To be fair, I can't, like, fight back. And it doesn't really seem like there's anything that I can, like, quote-unquote heal myself with. So, it makes sense that you don't really have to worry about getting beat up. In this game. What are these? Nothing? These look like eggs. Eggs, 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 eggs. Who's this guy? I don't know, but whoever he is, he is 
tied up and uh, immobile. It's giving hob as well. I'm getting a bit of hob from this too. You're kind of just like running around, sort of figuring out what to do. Uh, okay. You've got this guy. I don't particularly know what to do here. <coughs> Is there like a top? Sorry. Something like jumped in my throat. It was terrible. Uh, can I do anything? Well, that doesn't look like a lot, to be fair. Hold on. There's vines. You think... You think clamber? You think I meant to climb on this? Oh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, look. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just sort of. I'm just. I'm just guessing. You know. I don't. Uh. Okay. There you go. Figure it out. Don't fall. Thank you. Uh. Actually, no. In here. Crouch down, come up, ride this to the top, and we are now here. Uh, okay. I guess this is for my man. So, I'm trying to see if there's anything else from here. Alright, I'm going to assume that this is for my man. Luckily, it doesn't break. That's good. So I guess he smells this, and he goes, and he goes, Egh! you know. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna throw this at him. I guess. Oh yeah, look. Oh, go over there. Fuck you. Suck my asshole. That's right. Am I gonna be stuck in here now? I hope I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be stuck in here. There seems to be a smell emanating from this. At least that's what it looks like. That's not promising. I hope I don't turn into that. All right. The larval husks. Hercules beetle. Ooh. Hello. Okay. Uh, three larval husks. Is that you? That's them. Making the, the funky noises like that. So far, I've only found one. Yeah, that's them. I don't like the noises it's making. Where do I find more larval husks? What the, what, what the heck? I've only found one so far. Okay. Oh, here we go. Two. All right. So then a third one should be round the bend. I hope. This is interesting. Not like that interesting, but interesting nonetheless. I like how he's got like his own little tent. Uh, one of his buddies seems to have not made it, unfortunately. Okay. I don't know. I, I saw that there was a way that you can, like, poke your head through, and I, I you know, I checked. All right. And three. All right. And get out of here. Clamber. Clombe. Climb up in. Up on out of here. Uh, okay. Hop up here. Another larval husk. Great. All right, and we don't have to worry about uh, Big Beetle Bertha blocking our path, so that's good to know. I'm happy about that. A lot of climbing, but we're out. Look, we made it. That's it. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Okay, we're over here. Uh, okay. So we just 
float back there? Am I missing anything else? It doesn't really seem like I am. There's the big tower that I climbed up. That's where I got the thingy. There's nothing in there. I checked in there already. Big Beetle Bertha is not really too bothered. I did an alliteration. Look at me. All right, got the larval husks. And we take them back to Aoife. Aoife! Sorry. That was a Wally reference. You know, when he says, like, Eva, it made, me, it made me think of that. I feel like I have to explain myself. I kind of do it for, like, posterity. Oh, look, I have 23 days? Because I have 23 moons and 12 suns. So what does that... I don't know what that means. Where the hell am I going? Why did I go up this... Oh, I guess, you know. It was pointing in that direction, I suppose. So, you know. Uh, I have to make a phone call to the doctor, and I don't want to because I tried doing that yesterday, and I was on hold for what felt like seven years, and I finally got a hold of somebody, and they told me that I had to call someone else, and then I got put on hold again, and then I tried to, um, so one of the options was like I could press a number, and then they'll call me when I'm like next in line or whatever, and I tried to do that, and it wasn't working. And I got frustrated, so I, like, spammed it. And I somehow managed to spam the second number to press, which leaves a voicemail. And I somehow left a voicemail in the span of literally 0.5 seconds, and then I saved it. And then they went, okay, is that what... And then they, they literally were like, well, no. They were like, is that what you want to use? And I was like, uh, yes. And no. Because... I probably pressed the button, and by the time I figured out what I did, they the the machine was like, all right, we're going to save that and send it to them. And I was like, I'm just going to call them tomorrow. And tomorrow is today. And I don't want to call them because I would so much rather just, you know, have them. I would so much rather call them. And I would run. I want to call them personally. And they go, yo. And I go, yeah, man, uh, I need to set an appointment with you guys. Or, you know, hello, what's that? It's not part of the mission. Let's go. Oh, there's like a whole town over here. Hold on a second. We got to go check this out first. Hold on. Um, but yeah, man, I, I would rather call them personally and go, yeah, I need to, you know, do a thing with you guys. Oh, no, this is the, the Dunboin. So, never mind. How long has that been there? The floaty guy on top. How long has the floaty guy been there? Should I have gone to him? Oh, Bob. How long has this been here? All right, this has to be the same exact one. This is the same one. How did I not notice this yesterday? Chat, am I brain dead? Was this... How would I have not noticed this yesterday? That is very odd. Ow. Ow. Alright, get off the... Get off. Get off. Get off the thing. I want to climb it. <laughs> I, I just... I want to climb it. I have to climb it. I can make that. I can make that. Easy. If you could climb just a little bit faster, that'd be great. Damn it. You're like just barely... Okay. Okay. So, you hit space and you jump off and that's it. You're off. You, you, you can't do anything else about that. Okay, that, that didn't work. I have to get as much. Okay, that didn't work either. Oh, okay. Okay. I feel like that did a little bit better. Oh, you like just get to it. Okay. You're the worst. You're the worst at climbing. Hold on. Hold on a second. I hate the weird, like, dust guys. They won't help me climb further. Ugh. 
Maybe this will do something. It will not do anything, actually. It will not help at all. I want to know what this is. God damn you. Okay. Oh, you're terrible at climbing. You'll climb for like two seconds and then immediately get tired. Hmm. I want to get up there, damn you. I don't think I can. Never mind. I can't do it and it's too frustrating. Get on the... Thank you. All right. Let's just go. Let's just go back before I realize what I'm doing here. All right. Well, we got the larval husks situation taken care of. Da fishing. Da fishing. I don't know what's going to happen. We've got this guy, though. So maybe this means something. I don't particularly know. I don't know the threat. I don't know how close I'm supposed to be like, you know, like, is that close? I'm assuming that's close enough. It's got to be. Does this count? Can I get something new from this? Or no? Oh, it's just another friggin' dopey dart. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel... Oh, I feel bad. Because I don't... I sound like I hate the dopey darts, and I don't. They're adorable, and I love them. Okay. The poor things. But God damn it, man. I'm trying to find... Something other than the dopey darts and the, and the, you know, and I just can't, and it's dumb. Hold on a second. Can I check the map? All right. No, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay. That's what this was. Okay. The Hercules beetle nest in the wind tower. All right. Uh, oh, okay. That was a lot more solid than I thought it was going to be. Fair enough. All right, uh, all right. Park in the, the spot. Take it back to her. Oh, I wish our clothes would help us climb better. I'm sure that there's an article of clothing out there that can do that for us, but we're gonna put this back on. Because I don't think the machinist thing does anything. I have the larva hooks you asked for. Aoife started clapping the moment I caught her eye. Ah, you got them. The whole old mother beetle didn't give you too much trouble. I entered the husk. Lighter than air, but strong as steel. And she slides them away in a cloth bag. These are really coming handy. Thank you. I got a beetle badge. And a larval husk package. Actually, there's one more thing you can do for me. Can you take these husks to Erica? Ecria. God. And deliver them to... Take these husks to... Oh, Ecria. Okay. And deliver them to Ian in the Chime Maker's Workshop. Anything else I can help you with? Okay. Take the husk and deliver them to Ian. Ian. I'm going to say Ian. Ian? I feel like it's Ian. I'm going to say Ian, though. All right. They, this game makes me feel like I should be checking like every five minutes, and so far I've gotten absolutely nothing. All right. We're going this way. At least there's something to do. We got something going on. I was... Ow, I was worried that I was going to have to go out and explore and find something to do. And not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, you know, uh, I don't know where to look. And it's more vast openness than it is, like, you know, structures to explore, you know. So, but, uh, so far, uh, all I'm seeing are a bunch of rocks that, in my mind... I'm thinking are like big tower structure type deals and they're not. So how far does this? Okay, no. I just wanted to see how long the trail was. It looked long, you know, because it doesn't it doesn't end at the end of the screen. So it looks like it goes on for ages. Okay, where is? I want to see how far how, where we are. Okay. Oh, we're going to a different part. Okay. We're at a different section all together and you can tell because the sand is officially a different color so this is new 
Uh, I don't know why I'm expecting enemies in this game. I want to fish though and see what I get. I want to see if I get anything. It's a different. It's different sand. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh! You're you're difficult. You're difficult. You little bastard. Let's go. What is it? A stormfish. A unique fish that rides the aggressive movement of sand that occurs during a sandstorm by expanding its fins to an enormous span, as if it were a bird about to take flight. Cool. Does that mean that we're going to have to deal with sandstorms in this game? Hold on. There's a yellow plant here. I don't know if the yellow plant means anything, but we're going to try and see if this equates to anything. I forget what fish he was talking about. I think he was uh, talking about a pebble fish. Hello. Who are you? A sand ray. This rare fish, rare, ooh, is held up as a sign of good luck in cultures across the dunes. They typically travel alone. A delicacy in Red Sea, but eating sand rays is frowned upon elsewhere. Huh, cool. Okay. Uh, man, all right. Now I'm getting a bit of satisfactory now from this. Every time I see different plants, I want to fish. Give me fish. God damn it. Give me... F I want fish. God damn it. So I can go back to the angler guy. And show him all the fish that I got. I bit my lips when I said that. Oh, this is different. This is a different guy. And he's difficult to catch. That's right. A hummer. A bird-like fish that often surfaces from below sands to consume food in its natural habitat of palm forests. They move with erratic and incredible speed. Oh, it was dead. Oh, I kind of feel bad now. Did you see that? It had, it had X's on its eyes. That was terrible. Uh, man. Oh, okay, great. A lot of this stuff is solid. Except for that tree. And that tree. Can I just go through them? Kind of? No? Ow. Oh, look. They're like trees that haven't grown yet. I like that. That's really cool. Alright. Remnants of change. I feel like this quest is going to be a lot deeper than I initially anticipated. And that's okay by me. Okay. I like this. It's a lot like thicker, more dense, you know? Uh... Sand C was not like this. Sorry, I'm looking out for uh, the cartographer balloon so that I could get a map. Hello, gigantic rock. You wouldn't happen to know if I can f where I can find a cartographer balloon, would you? Uh, ooh. Oh, another Dunboyne. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's where I can find another uh, um, uh, Saren. <laughs> oh, man. Saren Terminal. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. I didn't save the game because I didn't think this was going to happen. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. Well, that was... Hey, just in case. Uh, because that scared the shit out of me. Let's go ahead. Save the game. All right. Just in case that happens again, and then the game dies. Damn it, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, where am I right now? Hello. You see that over there in the distance? Look. Is that the cartographer balloon? No, it's a rock. Alright. I wanted to go to the Dunpoint, but I'm already heading in this direction. It's too late. We'll, we'll do it on our way back if I can remember. Hello. Oh, it's like a whole... It's like a whole town. What's, uh... What's up with the pipes? Should I worry about that? The big red line makes me think it's, it's bad. It's an enemy. Can I go in there? No. Ecria, here we go. 
Oh! I can swim. I just lost my fucking, my thing. I just lost it. You can't jump out of the water. Great. Uh. Okay. I'm learning <laughs> new things. This is a... Uh, this is interesting. Hold on really quick. One audio test. On. One quick audio, audio test. One audio test. Okay. So far we're doing all right. Nothing to nothing to scream and cry about. That's good. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Okay. I can easily call it back, but, you know. Okay, look. All right. I like that. <laughs> this is where you park. Okay, so is this the guy that I can, like, buy stuff from? Like a mechanist. Yeah, look, bike merchant. Need something fast, reliable, both? Neither? We've got all sorts of bike parts just for you, Glider. Uh, here's what I got. Okay. Speedster bike. You can see how the sleek lines of the machine metal deflect wind to create incredible speed. I do want to be faster. What is this? It would take a big hit for a package to drop off the back of the carrier. Bounce for delivering delicate gear across types of terrain. Delivering, huh? Huh, Okay. What am I supposed to do? Damn it. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I does it over the iron. A chime maker in Ecria. Okay. You all right, man? You, you, you in a K-hole right now? You okay? You just... All right. Okay. Man's just standing there. You all right? Okay. Oh, what's up, man? Is that a chicken? Nice. Saray Merchant Josh. The whole of Ecria is on edge. Not good for business, I tell you. Even my regulars not coming now. Uh, what's going on? There's been a bit of a ruckus around the power supply into the town. They ain't none. Rumors of all sorts going around. Maybe it was the merchants in the market. Maybe it was an outsider. I'm sure the townies would love to blame us, Saray. Luckily, outsider business for fruit is still going. A bit slower, but Saray don't have to worry too much about power out here. Goodbye. Okay. There seems to be a power situation happening. Serene Nomad Yuki. Oh no, what am I going to do? They lost power in town. The merchants have started hiking their prices and now I can't afford my tea. Check these guys out. He seems like he's having a good day. I hope he is. I hope you're also having a good day, chat. I hope you're having a good as day as this guy is right now. I just wanted to, uh... Just wanted to, uh, you know... See what he was doing. Did you hear that? It's having like an. Sorry, it's having a. This game is very strange, you know, in like a good way. It's very like odd, you know. I like it. Check these guys out. Oh, this is where that one girl was, because she said she was uh she retired, didn't she? Hello. Okay. Uh, is this like the jailhouse or something? What the hell are you? Yeah, look, it is. Great. Yeah, it's like the jailhouse. Can I climb in? No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I don't want to know what these weird-looking silo guys are. Um, here we go. There seems to be a plaque. I want to read that. Can I read it? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be able to read it even if I wanted to because it is literal gibberish. So... That is good to know. We've got a whole rest of the town that we have not explored yet. Okay, sorry. I, I heard... Oh, don't climb in the box. I heard voices outside. I wanted to see if somebody was hanging around. I thought that was a person. I don't know why. So we can deliver stuff. At least that's what it looks like, or that's what it sounds like. We can deliver things. Oh, my God. All right, come here. I don't feel like walking around. All right, Samoon. Apparently you're like a, like a, like a entity, I guess, and I should be addressing you as such. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do anything over there, but I don't know how else to get into the town. It doesn't look like that door can open unless it can, but it does not look like it can. So... I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's go over here. Oh, that's not, 
That doesn't look pleasant. Open? No. Climb. There's a town in there, though. There's there's a town in them narrow hills. I don't want to swim the whole way because she takes 85 years to swim. Can you swim faster? No, you can't. Oh, God in heaven. Oh, my Lord. Okay. That's all right. Let's go around. Let's see if there... Yeah, okay. Let's see if there's another way. In... This particular... Hey, be careful. Okay. So, Ekri has got, like, its own little, like, color palette. Sure. Okay. No problem. I just want to know how the hell I'm supposed to get in here. That's all. Ow. Alright, I think there's a way over here. Look. I think there's a way in here. I hope. Yeah, look. Okay. Then, uh... Okay. Oh, what happened? Hamza is the machinist in Ekria. He's busy tidying up the workshop. It looks like someone has ransacked the place. What can I do for you, Glider? What happened? Hazma explains that this happened a few nights ago. He's got no idea who did it. Could it just be related to the power going up? He seems more resigned than concerned. Yeah, resigned than concerned about having his workshop ransacked and indicates that he doesn't know who or why someone would do such a thing. I'm not sure I'm convinced by his ignorance, but I let it go. Anything else I can help you with? A customized bike? Let's have a look. Okay, alright. You can switch stuff around. Okay. I mean, I I don't... I don't... The bucket, I can pick the bucket up. So the bucket has no significance. I can just pick it up. That's good to know. Um, <gasps> Ecria? Not Ecria. Sorry, that's where I am. A-A-A-N? A A-N? Ian? Ian? Owen? Ewan? Sometimes Wyan? Uh, wind chime die. The die bottle for the colors of the wind chime bike. The wind chime bike. Okay. Hello. Alright. Courier Jody. The power being up means a lot of business has stopped completely, but some market traders seem to have been able to take advantage of the situation, and deliveries have been busier than ever. Iria and her kind always seem to know how to squeeze blood from a stone, but this feels like things have worked out too well for them. Maybe don't tell anyone I said that. Oh, you're saying that there's a conspiracy, huh? You're saying that there's a coincidence, you know? Uh, what's up, boss man? I mean a chime maker called Ian. Oh, it's you! Ah, you have the husk that Aoife promised me. Here's a little something for your trouble. Farewell, glider. That was it. Okay. Uh, 197. Let's go. What's going on, boss man? What's wrong? I make the best glass this side of the sea split. Well, normally I do, at least. The power cut has put my workshop completely out of commission. I need my furnace to work. It's not like casting little pots in sand. I've got a terrible backlog of orders already. Buy parts, ships, pots, architecture, you name it. All right. We've got to figure out the power situation. Uh, I don't particularly know where to go in regards to that, but I like how you already know, like, who, who you can talk to. Can you hear the audio, like, chopping? This is Rita, the owner of the Overhand Cafe. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, seems like a nice place. Bro, the chickens. They're great. With the climbing. With the clambering. Alright. Uh, he seems like he's got something going on in there. I quite like it when the power is off. There's a sense of peacefulness to it. Alright. Uh, historical reconnection. Saren. Scrap metal. Collect par parts. Elizabeth. Okay, go find Elizabeth. Okay. So, I like how they aren't giving you the quest. They're just telling you what's going on. And if you want to get involved, you can. But if you don't really feel like doing anything about it, then you don't have to. Can I go out this way to make it easier for myself? No. All right. We have to go out this way, which, sure, fine, okay. I don't particularly know what direction to go in, though, um, you know, for the power. God damn it, man. The goddamn... God damn it, man. The god... Okay. 
It worries me, man. It worries me. I want to make sure my audio is good. And when it doesn't look like it's good, it makes me upset. All right, another bucket. No? Is that what's going on in here? Is that why there's noise? Hello. Oh. Isn't that a fish? Da, right? Ya da 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 da. Oh, I'm sleeping. Am I sleeping? No. Oh! Oh! Okay. I guess it was gonna do me in. If I had uh, kept messing with it. What's up? Don't hurt me. Oh, they don't seem too happy. Okay. So, do you make a habit of trying to get yourself eaten? Merchant Citra. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize on a flurry of murmured sorry. It's met with a shake of the head. Don't say sorry to me. You're the one trying to get bitten by a worm. This girl is nosy. Nosy? Nosy, and she's bloody strong. You shouldn't get that close unless you've had the proper training or else you've got food handy. But you're a glider, aren't you? So I suppose I could forgive a bit of clumsy worm handling. My name's Citra. I tell her I'm stable, and she offers a quick compliment to my name, which almost soothes the embarrassment burning through my ears. After that, she's all business. Now what's brought you here, glider? Can I help with anything? I guess I get the sense that if Citra were an animal herself, her fur might have bristled at my question. It triggers a memory where JD told me that it can sometimes be a labor in itself to explain how one needs help, and that I ought to try to see where I can be useful before I inquire. But I think I've made enough of an introduction already. Do I need help? Citra gives it a moment's thought. You know what? Yes. Nuzzy loves a hot going glow worm as a treat. If you can find her some, we'd both appreciate it. I tell her I think I can do that and decided better not to ask for further details. I'm sure I can find something. I say goodbye. Nuzzy's nibbles. Great. Ooh. Yeah, right? What was? You, what were you just... I hear the guard murmuring about pomegranates to himself as I approach. When he notices me, he clams up and stands to attention. Can I help you? Guardianus. Uh, I need to speak to Iria. Eerie is a very important person. If I'm going to let a bothersome glider run over her day, it better be worth my while. Offer 100 cuts. Offer 150. Offer 50. Oh, no, I don't want to offer any. Never mind. Okay. I don't really have a, a need to speak to her, so... Okay. Can I go? I can. Okay. Ask around, ask around at Seven Sister Station to find out how to catch glowworms. Okay. Am I at seven? What the hell is going on? All right, it's down there. It's all the way down there. Okay. Uh, ay, 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 all right. Um, well, let's get started on trying to figure out why the power is out. Let's, let's get a jump on that. So, let's head back here, because the power seems like a bit of a situation. Uh, there's fire over there, so I don't know. Let's go in that direction, I guess. But then we've got this big tunnel looking guy. I don't necessarily know if we can like go inside of it or not, but if we can, hopefully that'll lead us to the whole power problem that they seem to be having. No, it is not. It goes into the ground, so... I don't necessarily know where to check. This is a oh oh never mind. That's a bell. A lot of bells actually. Okay. And okay, all right. Uh, hello. Logging in. Have a good day. Okay. Should I be making the message? What is this? I can feel the nervous energy behind his mask. Glider, could you help me? I tell him my name is Sable and ask what he needs. It's my friend, Mika. He's he's so obsessed with treasure hunting and finding silly old artifacts. Every week he goes out after something new. I ask if you've ever found anything. Nothing you wouldn't get from your average scrapper, and he'll go bloody anywhere, in caves, cliffs, wherever, with no care for danger. I keep telling him, Mika, be safe, but he doesn't care. He thinks he's invincible. And now he's gone out to who knows where south of here and hasn't returned. Oh, I'm so glad you've come along. You can still hover, yes? So you won't be in danger of falling down anywhere. Is he somewhere dangerous? Well, how long has he been gone? Day before yesterday, but he usually comes back much quicker. He loves risky climbs, though, that little fool. So watch out for that. If it's somewhere stupid, Mika could be there. Please, Glider, if you see him, tell him Bashir is looking for him. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for his friend. I wish him as well. 
Sometimes a well is just a well. Uh, okay, what about you? Glider. Silver tongue table. Okay. I wish I was still on the gliding. Being a grown up is terrible. Uh, tell me about this camp. We're just nomads passing through. The five bells is for those of us trying to avoid the hustle and bustle of Ekri over there. Just too many people, too much going on. I prefer to keep company with the crickets. See ya. Okay. Uh, do you have a map? Can I have something? Uh, no. Clothing particularly well suited for sliding down large sand dunes. Okay. All right. Uh, one, four, one, thirty-five, ten. Here, you can have this. That's about all I got. All right. Thanks for checking out the goods. Great. Uh, okay, so this isn't anywhere in particular. This is just, this is just their own little little wigwam that they got going on. This isn't anything. Okay. Okay, well, now I want to climb to the top of the bell now. This game is very interesting. Very, very interesting. A lot going on. A lot to see. A lot to do. A lot to explore. Can I go check it out? I can. Okay. I should look for Mika at the at Thieving Magpie Well. Okay. Thank God they tell you where to go. Thank God. I was a little, I was a little bit worried that a lot of these quests were going to basically just be, all right, figure it out. You know, that was going to... Gonna be my worry, but uh, it seems like that that is not the case. Seems like they kind of point you in these directions, so that's good to know. I kind of feel like we should probably figure out what the power situation is. Hello, we should probably go over there. Oh, hey, look, uh, chum, eh? can I skip this? We get the process already, it turns into like a bunch of different stuff. All right. You'll be fine. Gosh. All right. Chad, I know you saw that over there. So let's head over there and see if that has anything to do with the power situation. It was over here somewhere. It was a big glowing red guy. And to be fair, the big, the other, the, the this guy, that guy right there, look. Let's check this guy out and see if he has anything to do with the power. Hopefully he... I hope he does. So. Oh, yeah. Look, look. He does. Okay. Perfect. All right. Take care of this situation. Oh, Lord. There's only one pipe sticking out of this thing. Does that mean that there's multiple? Oh, it's red. Oh, no, there's a button. Thank God. Thank the Lord. The Atomic Heart. Okay. There's a slot for a key card on the terminal. Perhaps this would unlock the door. Uh, I need a key card. And so far, nobody has told me anything about a key card. Chat, keep an eye out, man. Keep an eye out. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, climb on it. Okay. I'm exploring this son of a bitch if it's the last goddamn thing I do. There's got to be a way in here without a key card. There just has to be. No, because I'm not climbing on it, so it doesn't. Either I'm I'm incredibly intelligent. Oh damn it! Thought I figured something out. I didn't. No, I didn't figure anything out. Where would the key card be? Ugh. Oi. Oi vey. Oi. And dare I say vey. Damn it. I was hoping that this would be a smooth, smooth operation. And it's not. 
key card? Where would the key card be, man? All right, I'm looking it up. I don't care. I, I hit, like, all the wrong buttons. All right. Sable Atomic Heart Key Card. Uh, cheese. Okay. How do I do that? Oh, what? Damn it. Okay, we have to go back to the, we have to go back to Ecria. He's in Ecria. I had a feeling. Where the hell did my ship go? Where did it go? Oh, God damn it! it's up there. Oi. Figure it out. Thank you. God damn it, Chad. I want to figure this out. All right. Go back to Ecria. We're already on the proper side of it. I don't know where the guard is, though. But I guess if I walk around enough... I thought I saw... Well, to be fair, I definitely did not see the, the, the nozzle thing or whatever it was. So... That's a good point. All right, go back in this direction. Yeah, look, because that's where, my that's where my, my man is, and then go back in town. I don't know where the guy is though. That is the only problem. So hopefully, we run into him fairly quickly, and. So I guess you were supposed to get the quest. I thought that it was just like a, you know, a natural thing that you just hear about. And, uh, you know, you kind of put it together yourself. That's the jailhouse. Never mind. We didn't have to worry about that. Hey, he launched me. Okay. We're in here. Um, all right. So not up there. That's where homegirl is. Hold on. Check up here. Check up here. Gotta be up here. Not up here. Wait, no. Well, it's this guy. Any cuts to spare anything would be appreciated. Uh, here. There you go. Uh, I'm looking for... Okay, I was already here. Yeah, so not... Not around here. Not around here. Not near the cafe. With the climbing! With the shikons. Okay, try. Not there. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Again, not there. Have I been through here? No. Is this guy just, just chilling out? You're just chilling out? Okay. I want to find him. I want to find him and make him want me. Ready or not, here I come. He can't hide. Where the hell is he? And why don't I see him? He's probably up here. Can't talk to him. Can talk to him, though. The doctor looks concerned and frustrated. This power cut all of our medical equipment, prosthetic alignment, artificial wounds. It's all going to run out of power very soon if the energy doesn't come back. Those are useless guards and mechanists. All right, so if you didn't know now, okay... Now you know that there's a problem. Here we go, here we go. Oh, look, a cutscene. I didn't even walk in there. Okay. Big situation going on. Mance is trying to... I'm loving the people walking in place. This game is, is great. I don't know what you want me to say about, you know, the... The, the people. The people. The audio cutting in and out. That's a bit. 
The guard towers over me. I can't tell if I've somehow committed some kind of transgression as he looks me over. He seems to be contemplating a decision of some sort and mutters something unintelligible under his breath. Uh, hello. He, are free, he seems to refocus as I speak, as if remembering that I am a living being. You'll do. I have something in mind for you. Let's make good use of you. Me? I ask him how. Well, you're a glider. By your very nature, an outsider. You belong to nothing and to no one, and therefore you are capable of an uncommon object, ob objectivity. I wonder if I should share my myriad of popular, unpopular, or deeply subjective opinions, but decide to spare him. He seems to have much more to say. My name is San Sandip, and I'm in the middle of a very serious investigation. There are a few I can trust. You may have noticed that. We find ourselves without power, yes? Uh... I like it. It's rustic. I didn't notice that. It's no accident. Someone stole the power core from out of the atomic heart, and the perpetrator eludes me still. I thought perhaps you might be able to help me solve this crime and bring the thief to justice. I'll help. I've already begun to picture myself darting in and out of the shadows, tracking the elusive power of thieves through the city. In my mind, I'm swiftness and smoke, a creature of cunning and dexterity. Then Sandpip hands me a rusted heap. This is an old power core. Scrap, really, but if you bring this to the machinist for me, he can fix it and we can get this town going again. But, while you're there, I want you to ask if he has any idea who might want to steal something like this, and why. And why? I'd ask myself, but... Oh, I'd ask myself, but... You need to keep the investigation quiet. People are less forthcoming with guards. You get it. I, I see I've made the right choice. Report back when you've taken care of this. Yes, I'll be waiting. I say goodbye. Okay. Heartbreak in the city. All right, so go to... Deliver the new power core to Hamza, the machinist. Install the new power core in the atomic heart. Ask Ekria, ask around for information about the power out. All right, I pretty much did already. Uh, so far, it doesn't really seem like anybody has any idea on what the hell's going on. Everybody just seems re uh, relatively frustrated about the whole situation. So, so far, I've been going to everybody, and uh, they have not, like, naturally given up what could potentially be the reasoning, you know? So, all right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, all I had to do was just explore a little bit more. Alright, talk to him. Hamza um, so says, hello, what can I do for you? Uh, I have some questions about the power cut. Uh, yeah, I have questions. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? He crosses his arms and looks down, thinking on it. Power is the lifeblood of everything we do as machinists, and our work exists to uplift the past and secure the future. Power supports the machines, and machines are bound to the people. I nod, listening. If you want to take power from people, then you wish to make people powerless. He looks sad at this. So I think you'll be looking for someone who cares little for the common person. What I want to ask. Uh, where were you when the power went out? I was in the workshop, sleeping. Got most of my sleep there lately, if I'm being honest. He shrugs. That being the case, though, I didn't notice anything was wrong. I ask why not. Because I'm a mechanist, is why. And not one of us, no matter how different we may seem, would ever be caught dead without a backup generator. So I had a few hours good rest before I caught wise. I'm not accepting his answer. Uh, who do you think did it? If if I had to say? He touched his hand on his chin. Iria, the merchant. I tell him I'm listening, and he shuffles his feet, getting closer to me. And his voice lowers to a low rumble. Iria and her ilk run this town. The markets are their locus of control, and they've got their claws in the food stocks. Now, imagine, if you will, what happens when the power goes down. All of a sudden, folks are stockpiling food, and Iria and her lot are hiking up the prices, and there's, a not, and there's not a damn thing any of the rest of us can do. You should look into Iria. You'll find her weaving her web of corruption from above the beetle market across the bridge. If you have to persuade her guard to let you... Ah, oh, I need Iria the merchant to my list of suspects. That's why I wanted to talk to Iria. Okay. All right. Let's get the... All right. Let's get the heart. Let's go get the heart first. Let's put the heart back. Or should we talk to... Oh, let's talk to Iria first. Hold on. Let's talk to Iria. See what she might say. Because we're here now. We're here now. We're here now. And I I don't want to solve the problem. And then Iria just sort of like, you know, she doesn't really have anything to say. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Where the family... Isn't it over here? She's back here, isn't she? Because this is where the guard is. Yeah, look, she's back here. How much do I have? Oh, 200. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right. Uh, I need to speak to Iria. Iria is a very important person. Okay, uh, 150. The guard's eyes light up, and I immediately regret offering so much. I know, man. But you know what? I just, I, just, I just shot for the moon, hoping that I would fall amongst the stars. So, all right. Boys, this just picked up. This just picked up. Where the hell are you? You little bastard. Here we are. Hey. Ass right there, freeze hole. What do you know? If you're surprised, happy or displeased to see me, it's hard to tell. The guard by her side tenses up as I approach, but Eerie signals to them and they relax. My presence is permitted. For now. So you got past Yanis. What is it, a pomegranate or just good old-fashioned cuts? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Well, you're here now. Yes? What do you know about the power cut? You have five minutes and then I want you gone. 
Any idea why someone might have taken him? There's a deeply irritated sigh at the beginning of her speech, and it comes like the hiss of a viper. Two reasons I can imagine. One, because they have something to gain for bringing the town to his knees. Now a sharp, annoyed inhale. Two, because power cores fetch a substantial price in illegal markets. Could be one of those. Could be both. Don't know. I could ask more questions. Uh... Where were you when the power went out? I could feel her eyes narrow on me and, um, and imagine the drag of her tongue along the upper teeth. She dislikes me very much. I'll ignore the implications of that question, friend. But I was here in the market. Ask around if you'd like. Any of the guards will vouch for me. Well, I had to bribe a guard just to get in here. So how do you... I don't know. I don't know. Who do you think did it? It would be some low life from the Saray. Probably that climber fellow, Gary. They say he's, you know, one to speak to when a job needs doing, though he's not exactly what I'd call a discreet. Fellow like that, he won't be the he mo he won't be the brains behind it. But if I were a scummy little nobody, he's the person I'd hire to get the work done. I'm told you can find him under the bridge outside the town gate. I get in my list of suspects. I can ask more questions. Uh why someone was taking it? Where were you? Okay, I'm done. Uh okay. That's all. Okay, so I didn't even deliver the power core to him. I literally just spoke to him. And and then I left. Okay. We need to deliver the power core to Hamza. Gary is under the bridge. Gary's another suspect. Should go find Elizabeth gone fishing. Uh look for more sands throwing those glow worms. Okay. Under the bridge? This bridge? No. Because you can't talk to him. Under what bridge? Oh, God. I have to, like, go back to her. I hope I don't have to, like, re-bribe. Okay. What can I do for you? Okay. I have a delivery for you. I'm so smokes, but his expression is warm. They've got you running errands, eh? Uh, yes, and I'm a little annoyed. People love to give me errands. I like to keep busy. Oh, I can relate to that. If I don't, if I don't keep working, eventually I'm going to have to think about some of the things knocking around in this old little brain of mine. The worst thing. And nobody needs that, least of all me. I'll drop this thing off with sand up when it gets good and rainy. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, goodbye. I should probably check back with sand up to see if the new power core is ready. Okay. So go to sand up, which is, uh, up here? He's up here. Damn it. Where the hell is Gary? Garay. Got, got, gar, 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 gar Oh, God. How did I find it before? I kind of, like, accidentally stumbled upon it in a cutscene. I, I I don't even know. Oh, here we go. Under the bridge. This bridge? That one? Sempic rocks from the balls of his feet to the heels and back pleased. Good news! Hamza's finished his work on the spare power core. I can your help with it if you've got a moment. I can help. Perfect. I'd like you to take the new core to the atomic card and plug it in. And while you're there, see if you can't pick up on any clues about who may have stolen the original, yes? You come to the right glider. I cross my arms and give him a coolly confident nod. He nods back. I had a feeling about you. The moment I saw you, that air of mystery tells me you know how to follow a lead or dig up your own. Hamza left a key card for you. You'll need it to unlock the front door. The central chamber is protected by a security code, but I'm sure you'll find your own way in. The thief meant... The central chamber is correct, co protected by a security code. Head over to the substation just outside town and follow the power cable that runs through under the sands. See you soon, hopefully with news. Okay. Under the bridge? Under the bridge! Gary? You? Are you Gary? Maz. You, Glider. My name is Maz. I have a problem. I wonder if you could help me. I came over here and you didn't say anything when I first saw you. He has a voice like burnished steel despite the softness he tries to inject into his entreaty. The tone of a man more used to orders than requests. I gesture for him to continue. I can at least hear him out. It's my son, he sighs. He's being held by the Ekreen guard. They caught him tampering with the water supply. He puts up a hand to reassure me before I can speak any doubt. He was only trying to tap the supply, not taint it. He aimed to bring us a better source of water, one that would benefit us immensely. Uh, that sounds like a crime. That sounds like a crime. By Ekreen law, this is illegal. Yes, but if we followed Ekreen law, we would all die of thirst waiting on some functionary... Yeah, functionary to make the slightest effort. He sighs and crosses his arms, taking a step back. It is hard to tell if he was already defeated or just trying to tamp down some rising hope. I won't work to convince you. If it sounds like too much, I understand. But someone needs to stand against this. And for several reasons, it cannot be me. Not this time. Can you help? Yeah, man, sure. I'm not sure what I expect, but the solemn nod I receive catches me off guard. He steps closer to me and places a hand on my shoulder. There is something else, something you must know, and that I hope will not break a bond. Have you ever heard tell of the Shade of Ecria? No? 
the shade of Ecria, a hero of the people and a bane to those who would have, who would subjugate them. Dark as the night itself, smooth as black silk and fueled by the flames of vengeance, a legend in this wretched city. Though to ask the guard or those who line their pockets, the shade is a menace and a smuggler. I ask what he thinks. I think he was a man doing his best to right the wrongs of the powerful, but I might be biased. I'm the, sh I am the shade of Ecria. I barely have time to look impressed before he adds. And for today, so are you. What? When I retired, I hid the mask of the shade. But even though the shade was gone, the rumors, the legend, persisted. A glider cannot convince the guards to free my son. But the shade? Oh, at the mere sight of him, they were liable to give you whatever you want. Mouse points at a marking on a nearby wall. You see this? Head to the town gate and look for this symbol. It will lead to the mask. Collect the mask and return to me. Then we stage the rescue. Farewell, glider. Oh, the, ma the, the, the skull. The skull and the eyes that I was looking at. Okay, man, there is a lot going on. G Gary? Under the bridge? Gary? Are you Gary? No, you're, yeah, you're Yuki. Okay. You're not Gary, you're someone else. I can't talk to him. I could talk to him, but now I cannot talk to him anymore. Uh, I don't know if they specifically mean this bridge or another bridge, but yeah, I don't know. I tried looking and I, I can't see anything. You're different. You're, I, I feel like I would have known. I feel like I would have heard, uh, rumblings of Gary. See, look, this thing like pops up, but I can't. Okay. Yeah. You're Josh. Okay. Uh, I would like to. Tr what do you have? Oh, just a bunch of fruit, melancholy mushroom. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I thought that I would be able to find Gary over here, but alas, that does not seem like it is the case. Uh, okay. Treasure scrappers. I need scrap metal heart pick in the city. Okay. We are going to install the new power core in the atomic heart in the next episode because, folks, on that note, I am going to call it here for this uh, for this episode.